This is Hustle 101 Heavyweight Edition, because we got the heavyweights of the West right now. Start off with G Malone, got my nigga J Rock, Nipsey Hustle. <clears throat> yeah, definitely yeah. do the thing right now. Chuck Dizzle, Chuck D, it's all the same thing. The album is coming, man. It'll be real soon. I don't even want to say another day, but it'll be real soon. It probably won't happen before you know it, but uh, I'm just having fun, man. I'm going to show you how we do it, right? I done finally bought about $500 worth of drinks. I'm you, man, I got about another rack left. This one, Right? So watch y'all buying these drinks, folks. When you niggas can't figure out why you niggas don't do it, remember I showed you how to do it. Man, we got the little mixtape from the drop. Um, that was the first album I did. I did like three different albums. I'm dropping the first album I did just for everybody to have for free. The album was due, they said October 27th. We'll see, though. You know what I mean? Gotta, as long as they keep paying, I ain't tripping. They come when they want to come. Yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? Baby, make sure make sure. You already know, y'all see, man. Y'all see the views, y'all see the comments, man. Me and G got together, did something crazy, man. You already know, man. Dollars make sense, man. You know what I'm saying? It was, was really, it? I ain't gonna lie. Walking man, the we, studio it was a hit already, and I heard it. That's a second. Matter of fact, I did both of these niggas like that. Yeah. J Rock, I walked in. J Rock shit, he had this record plan, and they the only niggas to really get a nigga to just get right now. <laughs> they were like, G, get out. I'm like, fuck it, let's do it. I do it, and then nigga, man. He ended up having some shit that was already some shit. Same thing with Nipsey. We gangbanging, he had already had that shit done. He was playing it. They had no verse. I'm like, man, let me get on that, man. This was crazy. Like, I was just in NY. Yes. And we was in NY when I met him with my nigga. He's like, man, we at the studio, nigga. I'm like, I'm there, man. Played the record, nigga. No questions asked, my nigga. We did that shit. We do the damn thing. If niggas don't know, man. We work hard, my nigga. We don't play with this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? We really out here, nigga. When it's time to work, nigga, we get it in, nigga. Man, we just movement. Like, you know, I'm inspired by both of these niggas. They real niggas come from real places in LA that's doing big shit, homie. So, you know. Before I had my situation, I was inspired. I'm still inspired by how big they made the shit and how they can kick doors down. I heard G shit on the radio. I heard these G shit on the radio. He think LA, real hood in LA. We wouldn't get no love, no action at one time. So you already know, homie, it's a movement. It's, it's not about quote unquote new west. It's just about, you know what I'm saying, our generation speaking for ourselves. I mean, like I said before, you know, Drake one of the biggest niggas right now, up and coming new niggas speaking for this new generation. And you know, we some of the biggest niggas coming up speaking for this generation. So, you know, we, we, everybody's aware of everybody move. Ain't nobody blind to the other niggas that's popping and doing that shit. So, you know what I mean? Just mutually reached out. Like, you know what I mean? I fuck with the music. I fuck with your music. Let's get in and, and fuck them up. Because what he represent is something a, a fan or a consumer might see is different than something I represent. But we both hip hop artists. So it, we got in and did a record. Came out big, you know what I'm saying? 1500 producers, that's a group of LA producers from out here. Yeah, they crazy as fuck. So, you know, we just released it online today. It got picked up. They start playing it in the New York radio the same day. I'm talking about we put out last night, like 12 midnight. So, we were on New at 2 on Envy Show. Felly got a hold of us. Yeah, no, no question. Yeah. 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 LA niggas proud right now. That's the neighborhood one stop shop right now. That's Walmart on wheels. Nigga walked up and said, hey, y'all rap. I said, man, yes, we do, brother. Tell Look at this, though. Damn. Yeah, LA. Downtown folks, we're here from there. I'm taking pictures of LA. Knives and shit. No car man, no ice cream man. I cut a nigga up with this right here, nigga. Like an Indian, nigga. See this old, this some right here, this some Indian shit. Yeah, I do. Sometimes. Hello? Most of time I sell drugs, though. Yo. Okay, let me back. I'm just saying, though. <laughs> Here, man, make this shit close. I don't cut myself. Either. <laughs> you know, a nigga like that, he see, he know, like, man, nigga shit. try to put it on, man. Hey, man, shit like that, man. That, that shit like that will keep us going, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? For a nigga, for a nigga, we just be out anywhere, my nigga. I'm quite sure Nipsey gonna see this shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? He be out in the traffic, nigga. Some nigga bumping this shit loud as a motherfucker. No you know what I'm saying? That, I was on the block while I just did my mind. This young nigga, I just try to get, get mine. mine. Right Double M. I mean, like, you don't really want to fuck with him. Yeah, you ain't too nigga. Infatuated with paper. Yeah, I get some mama shit on me. Hey. Black or white TV set. No cable. 40 to the green chicken noodles on the table. For the butter with the spoon. Child of the ghetto raised off a different tone. Watch. My little nigga booger, that's, that's the little homie right there. You see him? You hear me? That shit hard. Hey man, hey man. Hey man, hey man. That's that right there, man. You see that, man? 
Man, that's crazy right there, that, man. That's what it is. That's crazy. <laughs> that, that's the, man, that's the coldest shit to ever hear, my nigga. Funny is a nigga that's mad dogging you that's bumping your shit. He don't know it's you. <laughs> man. Man. Mad dogging you on you, like, on you, but he bumping your shit, getting fired up. He finna get at you over your shit, so. Or a nigga that you might see looking crazy and all that. Staring at you yeah. like yo shit. Yeah. Man, hold on, you press the nigga come up, man. Is you so and so? I yeah. like, he a fan. Yeah. And, but so, you know that's the crazy shit. That's all that's that happens so much. I'm like Crispy, shining from my wrist to my gold chain. Anywhere I go, I keep it hood. I never change. If it ain't up on my lap, got it stashed in the rain. Back.